Welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown. My name is Wheeler. Joining me today, I got a surge. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. That's a, yep, great intro. <laughs> and uh, we're about to play some Canadian Highlander. And if you like the decks you see or you want to learn more, you can look in the description below. But of course, we couldn't do any of this without the support that we receive from patreon.com slash loading ready run. It's because of all of you that I get to do this to surge. Wait, what? I'm playing Mono White Death and Taxes. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Are you? My points are Mana Crypt, uh -huh. Soul Ring, Umezawa's Jite, and Mana Vault for a clean 10. Uh, I play hateful, small, white creatures, and you don't play anything. What do you mean I don't play anything? Well, your spells are more expensive, your okay. lands come into play tapped, and my removal gets rid of everything. Hopefully. Cool. Uh, I'm on blue, splashing green merfolk. My points are Mox, 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 GJ, Mana Drain, True Name. Yep. Yeah, it's a good spread. Oh, it's really funny. I was like, I'm going to bring merfolk. And Wheeler's like, I got you covered. <laughs> so I brought the mana base. You brought the merfolk. My plan here is this is a tribal deck. None of my merfolk, well, with the exception of True Name, are that powerful by themselves. But as they grow stronger and stronger, the power of friendship and fish will see us to the end. A little bit of disruption, a lot of bit of, um, it's like a snowball. It's less tempo and more momentum based. Mm -hmm. Ready to do this? Let's. Planes. No turn one. No turn one. No turn one. No! Aether Vial. Oh, that's bad. Go ahead. Uh, Aether Vial resolves. Hey, I've got counter spells. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't don't mind me here. Is it the glass pool mimic? <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, and just tapped. Uh, <laughs> basic Island. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with a uh, Curse Catcher. Oh, okay. So go to you. Uh, upkeep. Put a charge counter on my Aether Vial. Could you not? Draw a card. I mean, I could try forgetting if it helps. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Mishra's Factory as my land. Yeah. And then just a boring two drop. Don't Dahlia. worry about it's it. Dahlia. No. It is a Stoneforge oh, Mystic. It's worse than that. Uh, trigger. Oh, what does this start? It's a pretty power. It feels like I'm playing Legacy. This would be the only way this would be more precious if you had a mock start. Yeah. Oh, the GTA. Oh, that's fine. Uh, sure. Cool. I'll grab a GTA and then I will <laughs> pass. You really got to be like that, eh? Sorry. And I, you, know, you, you do you. You yeah, do you. I'm not actually sorry, but you know. So Odawara so uh, Soaring City is here. Mm -hmm. Two mana. I'm going to cast Metallic Mimic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name Soldier. Merfolk. Oh. Wait. <laughs> okay, Merfolk. That be that was better than my option. Yeah, you know. Uh, would you like to attack him by one two? Not particularly. Okay. I'm going to say go. End of turn. Yeah. Activate. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to put in another one two. Giver of oh, Ruins. Good. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to untap. Yeah. I'm going to take this up to two. Yeah. And draw a card. Mm. I'm going to play Castle Arden Vale. And I'm going to pay one and cast a Steel Shaper's Gift, putting it on a card reader we're not using to go and find an equipment into my hand. Let's grab... Unfortunately, I don't have Sword of Fire and Ice in here. But I do have a Skull Clamp. So I'll get a Skull Clamp. Put it into my hand. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. My turn gets so much better mm -hmm. if this is an untapped land. Okay. If this is an untapped land, we blow this game wide open. Okay. If not, it's a little trickier, but I'm not necessarily dead, but I'm in trouble. Okay. I'm in a lot of trouble. You're fine. <laughs> it's not an untapped land, but it is a Mox Emerald. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to cast... 
thieving skydiver with a kicker of one. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I need to think of a... <laughs> I need to check a rules interaction. By all, what, what are you curious about here? Well, it involves... It might involve your play, right? Yeah. Your loss, but for, for the audience's benefit here, I cannot play around I it, I have right? a containment priest in my hand. Okay. I forget the interaction with Aether... And containment priest. Oh, I'm it's... fairly certain it doesn't muck itself. I'm under the impression this, that it also doesn't hose This itself. is a replacement effect that would only be active if it is actually on the battlefield. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't see itself coming into play to hose itself. Yeah. I mean, we could be wrong. Let us know in the comments below. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate Aether Valve. All right. I'm going to put in containment priest. Okay. I... Suddenly, would, would, you you like like to, would you like to activate your Mishra's factory in response to this trigger? Well, since you asked so nicely, no. <laughs> hey, a cool Aether Vial. It's a shame. I wish it did anything. Yeah. This does come into play with a 1-1 one -one counter. It though. does come into play. Well, hold on. So I kicked it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a merfolk. Sorry, yeah. I was just taking a look at stuff there. All right. So I do have this. Um, I will take the glass pool shore yeah. and have that enter play tapped now. Yeah. You had to have the hate. Sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. This deck is extremely hateful. It's extremely hateful. That is what it does. And you still get your GTA. So this is a better... If I wait a turn, I can steal the GTA, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was pretty spicy and lets me do some shenanigans, but you had the answer for it. So the board, it feels more neutral now. Yeah. Uh, but I'll say go get your stupid GTA. Okay. Well, I'm going to activate uh, Stoneforge Mystic and put in Cauldra Complete. No, I'm kidding. It's Jute. Yeah, Umezawa's Jute is here. Uh, untap. Draw. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap two. I'm going to put the Jute on the Containment Priest. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put it on... No! The stone forge. <laughs> That's less good. <laughs> I'm going to give the stone forge pro blue. Oh, uh, man. I'll attack you with my stone forge with a G on. So the significance of pro blue here is it prevents me from blocking with the curse catcher and then sacrificing it to keep Wheeler from getting any GT counters. Well, you need a oh, target. Oh, you need to spell the target. I can't it just do that. It does force for... you to block. It does this. force me to block with a mimic, which you kill anyways. So I'll do that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll trade there. You get two GT counters. Second main. Yeah. I will cast a mana vault. A little late to the party. Uh, I'll pass. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave this at two. Okay. Uh, attacks. Okay. No blocks. All right, take three. 17. Second main. Like, I wonder if my sequencing there was bad, but it's probably fine. God, this game is so different if my Aether Vials... My Aether Vial, by the way, possessive. If my Aether Vial's online here, this game is very different. Let's cast a, a Merfolk Branch Walker. So two mana, two one. When it enters the battlefield, it explores. So I have a trigger here. You want to do anything? <laughs> no. All right, reveal the top card of my library. Uh, it is a Blossoming Defense. Yeah. So put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. Then put that card back or into the graveyard. I'm going to leave that on top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Blue, blue. I'd like to cast Lord of Atlantis. Would you like to respond with that on the stack? That one I will respond <laughs> yeah. to. This is why I'm sad my Aether Vial isn't working. Do I want to respond to that? It's like you can kill this for one or shoot one of these two, or you can just kill the Lord later, you know? Yeah. Mm. I think I'll actually let that happen. No. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I'm going to kill your lord. Sure. Untap. Draw. Oh. 
Uh, wow. Uh, okay. Let's. Let's tap two to put the GTA on the containment priest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give containment priest pro green. Okay. I'm going to attack for two. <laughs> <laughs> That's very frustrating. No blocks. I'll take two. Two cards in hand, you have a stupid blossoming defense. Yep. I'm going to kill this now. Yep. I think I should have responded to the explore trigger earlier, but what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to play Skull Claim. Yep. And I'll pass. Play another Lord here. Merfolk Mistbinder. Mm -hmm. uh, the Merfolk get plus one plus one. Uh, and I'm going to hit you for five. I'll take five. I go to 12. Go ahead. Draw. I'm going to give this pro blue. Yep. And I'm going to attack. 16. We got ourselves an interesting, interesting tension right now. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Skyclave Apparition. Hate that for me. Uh, so it comes into play, and I'm going to ex try to exile your Merfolk yeah. uh, Mistbinder. That's fine. OK. So this is just in exile now? Yeah. Uh, and when this well, we, let's keep play. it under play so that we can keep track of the CMC of what's under there. Sure. You know? When that leaves play, I get a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be a pass. Miracle? <laughs> I wish. May I read this really quickly? Containment Priest? If it wasn't cast, exile it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Go. <laughs> Undo. Interesting. Um, three cards? Four cards? I currently have three cards in hand. You know one of them. That plus that. I'm going to give my Skyclave Apparition protection from blue. All right. Combat. Before combat. Blue, blue, I'm going to flash in a merfolk trickster. Mm -hmm. I'd like to tap down your containment priest. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. Um, that's fine. Um, now do I want to do anything else? So combat. Yeah, combat. Um, no, I'm just going to, I'm going to play in a Gonjo castle. 
Which uh, one is that? It's a legendary land. Taps out a white, and I can pay a white and tap it to prevent the next two damage that would be dealt to target legendary creature this turn. Right, yeah. And then I'll pass. Attacks. Yes. I'll hit you for three. I would like to. Oh, it's flying. All right, declare oh. attacks. I have a 3-2 flyer. I would like to flash in an even mind sensor. <laughs> the idiot bird. The idiot bird is here. Ah, <sighs> Fascinating. The idiot bird has arrived. That is a beautiful idiot bird, by the way. Thank you. From the Love Your LGS series. And if possible, I would like to go to blocks. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I would like to block. Now, do you get this back? When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target artifact with CMC. No. Okay. No. So this is still mine forever. Yeah. Then. Yeah, I'm fine with that trade. Well, I mean, after this game, I'd like it back, but... Forever, Wheeler. It oh. doesn't say the effect ends. <laughs> All right, well... My win con, I will go ahead... And uh, and pass to you. And a turn. Mm. I'd like to give this minus one, minus one. Writes down removal spell. <laughs> Untap. Draw. A little bit of awkward timing. That's fine. Um... Pay one to put skull clamp on my sky clay. That's pepper. very spicy, yes. And I'd like to go to combat. Who knows? This guy, this guy, hey, uh, this stop, guy. Stop. Um, I'll block the Containment Priest. Before damage. Mm -hmm. I would like to give Containment Priest protection from blue. I would like to cast Fading Hope, targeting your Containment Priest. Yes. All right. So return target creature to its owner's hand. If its mana value is three or less, scry one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to scry. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Uh, we'll go to damage. I'll take three, going down to 13. I'm going to play a Flagstones of Trocare. Yeah. And then I will pass. Untap. Draw for the turn. Who means I was GTA? Spider Man meme. Yeah, that's fine. Equip, GTA. Yeah, that's also fine. Announce my intentions to rumble. Yes. Attack you. I'm going to animate my Mistress Factory. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put the Mistress Factory in front of the Merfolk Trickster. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to tap to yeah. give itself plus one plus one. Yeah. GT is online. Okay. Ah, dueling GTs. It's been a long time. Dun -dun 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 so my options here are I, I can of course finish this off, or I just try and preemptively kill anything that we try and put the GT on, um, which gets a little bit more awkward because this can give protection from artifacts to another creature. To another creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think my best case scenario here is I'm actually just going to use one counter here, and I'm also going to kill off your Skyclave apparition. Sure. And that's going to give me a 2-2. Two, two. What token is it from that it's one, actually? It's a blue illusion token. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we'll mark this power and toughness with 2. Uh, since the apparition died, I draw 2 cards. Yes. Okay. It's really awkward that it's blue. I was kind of <laughs> hoping it was white or something yeah. because of the stupid uh, friend. But, you know, here we are. I'm all... I'm, I'm curious if maybe I was supposed to kill the giver while like the shields are down. I don't know. It's like 
This might be a really interesting turn to go back and reflect on afterwards. You're killing more things by doing this line. Yeah. But is that more important than getting this off the board? I guess it depends on what... How are you planning to use your G2? Yeah. Like, down the line. Exactly. You know? Go. Mm. Killing a creature is kind of nice. But... Untap. Drop. Four mana. Oh, no. I'm going to float three... Well... Is it suddenly get in time? <laughs> yeah, it might be. I, I am a little worried about this Aether Vial. I don't have a great way of sequencing this outside of... Be really awkward because I just scried a land to the bottom, so, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay two and put the GTA on my Giver of Runes. Okay. I'm going to go to combat. Oh, what a good attack. <laughs> because if I block, you can pump, all kinds of stuff like that. If I don't block, you have, an, you have a GTA online and I don't. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'll take one. Any effects before damage? No. 12-12. Uh, this goes up to three. Yeah. Um, awesome defense is still in your hand. It's still in my hand, and my green source is a Moxon. I am going to kill this illusion token. Let me have your illusion token back. Uh, I'm going to think long and hard about my life choices. <laughs> this is a really interesting game. I think I'm going to play this basic planes. Oh, okay. The get in is offline now. I'm going to float a colorless here. Yeah. And play Thalia Heretic Cathar. Hateful. 3 2 first strike creatures and non basic lands you control enter the battlefield tapped. Okay. Um, I still have one floating. I'll use that one to uh, put Skull Clamp on the Thalia. Yeah. And then I will pass. I take one from Animal. Aha! A win con. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, I'm going to pay two and put Gta on Thalia. Yeah. Combat. Yeah. I'm attacking you with Thalia. That's four. Any effects before damage? I'm going to pop. That's six. I'm at six. Uh, Gta trigger. Gets two counters. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. GG. GG. Man. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Yeah, what a neat game. So I I had this two drop in hand, mm -hmm. but there's this really interesting tension where I have the Aether Vial and Wheeler has the uh, the flash creature that shuts off the Aether Vial. The Containment Priest. The yeah. Containment Priest. And I'm waiting for a turn for him to lead with Containment Priest so I can activate the Aether Vial. He's waiting for me to activate the Aether Vial so he can get me with the Containment Priest. So there's sort of a stalemate between the two of those and we're waiting for an opening. I'm just never giving you an option to activate that. Yeah, and you can see he's always leaving white white up and stuff like that. The dueling GTAs, I think I probably could have handled a little better. It's really tough there. You know what I think you should have done? Yeah. And this is a Brett Frankson classic, by Okay. Way. Deep cut. I think you should have started activating your Aether Vial at Just to every you, yeah. Because if you activate it, I will, yep. I will have to I dedicate. was thinking about it, but it's bad for me if the... If the Pre but you don't have to put something into play. Oh, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, just yeah. taunt it, yeah. yeah. So the significance there of the Aether Vial is a May. You activate it, mm -hmm. and then Wheeler doesn't know if I'm putting a creature into play or not. He has to preemptively respond to it, and then I can sort of bait it. I'm like, ah, I got you. And it leaves your creature up for removal, Yeah. but it doesn't, it doesn't, I like, I know I'm green, blue, I don't have a lot of removal, you know? I know it leads to what is effectively an entirely different game, yeah. but I think that if you get me to commit the containment priest to the board. I do have GTA though. Yeah. Before, well, I guess you you top deck the GTA. I did. Okay. I didn't have the GTA at the time when I, I mean, was thinking about this place. Top yeah. The GTA. <laughs> but but like, um, maybe if there's a world where you can get me to put the containment priest down 
and then get the GTA counters to kill the priest. Yeah, yeah. And then try to crawl out from there. I but. had two lords in hand the turn after I stole <laughs> your Aether Vial, which you should put back on your yes. board. Yeah. And you had the containment priest to shut it off. Man, that, oh, oh. <laughs> And because I set up that whole line because I knew you had the GTA. Otherwise, I wait a turn and I take the GTA. Yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, my goodness. What a fun game one. What a fun game one. That was wild. I thought, I felt like I was in a lot of control even before, like, I started attacking with the GTA. But then I looked at the life totals and I was at, like, 11 or something. Yeah. And I'm like, how did that happen? And yeah. Burfolk does a lot of damage. Well, there's that point where I'm like, man, I just have to start racing you. Yeah. Um, and it was a little close, and I started falling behind. It's kind of weird to make this comparison, but Merfolk feels like it plays like D&T until it plays like Goblins. <laughs> yeah. Where you are, like, just keeping yeah. up counter spells, yeah. playing annoying threats that can get a little bit bigger, but then you'll get to a turn where it's like, oh, make your thing an island, play a lord, everything's now unblockable, hit you for ten. Like, yeah. it's just wild. Yeah. Yeah. I... This is a very tricky deck to pilot. This is a very tricky deck to pilot. I, I can't stress it enough. I think Merfolk might actually just be... Once we crack the code completely, mm. I think it might be tier... Like a top tier tribal. I've been describing it as 1.5 right yeah. now. Like it's very, very, very yeah. close. Yeah. Because the newest cards that we got are absurd. Well, what like, I mentioned before, it's like not a, an explosive aggro deck. It's not a tempo deck. It's a momentum deck. Mm -hmm. Once the ball get, once that snowball gets rolling, it's really hard to stop. We've talked about this on North 100 too, where like deck identity and what they're looking to do is a huge issue. It's like Rakdos aggro is one where everybody throws in, you're fine. Everybody throws in like thought seizes and whatnot. It's like, yeah, is this what you want to be doing? And maybe Merfolk has suffered from that, where people just assume that it needs to be built exactly like every other tribal deck, where no, it's it's its own beast. It has a its own identity. You know, you're not just a bunch of lords and things to get bigger from your lords. Uh, do you want to cut? You're fine. I'll keep the seven. Okay, okay. And I'm on the play. But I mean, I looked at my hand. That's. I don't think many of us are taking the draw in this matchup, right? <laughs> God, I love this format. It's pretty good. It's a pretty cool and good it's format. Pretty fun you know? format. Yeah, yeah. With more and more decks popping up as being. Viable options too yeah. for. I'm shocked at how competitive that game was, considering how oppressive your start was. Yeah. Turn one Aether Vial into Stoneforge GTA. Yeah. And I didn't lose on turn four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, like I didn't. The one of the weaknesses of that draw, and maybe why I should have Steel Shaper's Gift for a um, Lion Sash. Oh, Lion Sash would have been. Oh God. It's yeah. just I didn't have that like. Mm. You know, that pump, that like brim ass sure. style yeah, card to yeah, take yeah. me home. I, I think like Skull Clan didn't really do much there. So yeah, Lion Sash I think would have um would have been very bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four, six. Yes, I'll keep this. I have to put one to the bottom. And it will be this one. Eh, yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Island mm -hmm. into Tidal Warrior. <laughs> I hope you like your islands. <laughs> yeah. So one mana, one one. Target land is an island until end of turn. Your go. Draw. Planes. Is it? Let's see what I did there. Okay. Uh, Skull Clan. I have a response. I'm going to daze that. Okay, that's yeah. fair and yeah, uh, yeah. rude, but I'll accept <laughs> no, it. No, 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 no yep. turn on Aether Vial. Uh, go ahead. The same island. Mm. Go. Upkeep. Island. Okay. <laughs> well, immediately punished. No! Planes. Yeah. No, I'm punished. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can't cast a thing. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Untap. Draw. Mm. 
Not a lot of value otherwise. I'm just going to cast it right now. Uh, Tide Binder Mage, two mana, two, two, Merfolk Wizard. A lot of text against red and blue decks. Not a lot of text in this matchup. Yeah. You already have white, white. I wonder if it's better for me to get one point of damage in or if it, it keeps you from double spelling if you're white, white, white pip heavy. So I'm going to pass. And uh, I don't like the right island. So on your upkeep. My <laughs> right or your right? You're right. That okay. is now an island. Yeah. Everybody saw that. He said I'm right. Uh, draw. Uh, what a guy. I'm going to play a... Third Plains. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm going to play a Horizon Canopy. Yeah. Um, and a Mana Crypt. I'm really wishing I put a different card on the bottom. I'm really wishing you didn't have that stupid title warrior. Um, honestly, I'm going to play a Chrome Box as well. You just went from two to six. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to exile this Usher of the Fallen. Okay. So this is adding white. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to 19, and I'm going to play... Well, let me do this properly. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap a white and white a blue. And a blue. <laughs> To play Intrepid Adversary. So it's and a, you're going to kick it? Uh, twice. Yeah, basically. Comes into play as a 3-1 lifelinker, but I can pay uh, any number of uh, one in a white. And when I do, uh, I put that many Valor counters on it. Uh, and creatures I control get plus one, plus one for each Valor counter on Intrepid Adversary. So I'm paying two. Uh, so I went to 19. Um, so yeah. So now... All my creatures get plus two, plus two, including itself. So it's a 5-3 lifelink. Go. <laughs> this card is so good. It's 5-5? Five, 5-3. Five? Five, oh, it's a 3-1. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's 2021, not 2020 green cards. I was doing such a good job of attritioning your resources. You do only have one card in hand. Mm -hmm. So, like, that is a thing. Yeah. But come on, dude! <laughs> uh, Scalding Tarn, mm -hmm. I'm going to crack it for a, thank you, for a basic island. Mm -hmm. I'll cut and sure. all that stuff after. And I'm going to cast a Marrow Regery. Oh, the Rege. So yeah. three mana, two, two Merfolk Soldiers. Other Merfolks get plus one, plus one. Uh, whenever you play a Merfolk spell, you may tap or untap target permanent. Mm -hmm. Powerful Lord. Powerful Lord. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say pass, and on your upkeep, the outermost planes is now an island. Okay. I have to roll for my mana crypt. Uh, ought I take damage? Sure. Can we get a different <laughs> dice? I... <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. That's pretty good. Uh, White, white, and a blue. <laughs> I'm going to cast Council's Judgment. I would like to vote to exile Mero Regery. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that was my that was my way of dealing with your five three. Did you top deck that? Uh, no, that wasn't my opener. Oh man. This I top deck though. Okay. I go to eighteen. I'm going to cast Archon of Ameria. 2-3 flyer. Uh, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn, and non-basic lands you control enter the battlefield tapped. Go ahead. Yeah. God, this was a good year for white creatures. I'm going to play this Verdant Catacombs tapped. Yep. Uh, I'm going to cast Emperor Michal II. Mm. You look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast a Merfolk from the top of your library at any time. Well, that's not true. I can't cast like, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And whenever I cast a Merfolk spell, I may pay a generic if I do create a 1-1 one, one blue Merfolk creature token. Mm -hmm. That's a 4-5? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, go. Island. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Auto take damage? Yep. Uh-huh. Draw. All right. 
Like, you got a five power lifelink creature. Come on, game. Yeah, but I can't attack with it. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I could. But, yeah. Uh, I will attack you for four in the yeah, air. Yeah, I go to 15. Uh, eh. I'll use... I'll, I'll tap Mana Crypt, uh, floating a colorless. I guess I should have done this pre-combat. I'll crack this Horizon Canopy yeah. to draw a card. Um, oh, is I, this supposed to enter tapped, or is it just lands? Just lands. Okay, it's not Thalia, thank yeah. god. Uh, so I'll tap my Chromox on my island to play a Remorseful Cleric. Uh, two on flyer, I can sack it to exile all, all cards and target player's graveyard. Okay. Go ahead. Remember when I was looking really good in this game, because I had uh, stifled your Aether Vial? Not yep. stifled, pardon me, dazed it. That was great. Well, the Skull Clan. Yes. Yes. It's okay. They're both broken one mana artifacts from Dark Steel. I. Wow. Cool. Brain. Um, still yeah. upkeep. I'm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. No, I know. no, we're good. We're good. I know what this is. Mm hmm. You can also look at it. I know I don't want it, so I'm going to crack that away. Okay. It took me a second. It took me a second. I was just like, this does not save the Surge. So, non-basic lands enter play tapped. So I'm going to get a basic forest. Okay. Because I want all of my mana right now. Yeah. One card in hand. Mm -hmm. I've got basically Future Sight online here. I should be able to claw ahead. The card is very good. Yeah. You're at least restricted by this, though, which is nice. But still. Even... May I read it again just in case? Uh, yeah. Only one spell per turn. Right. Yeah. I can't double spell. But every spell has two bodies in yeah. front of you. So. so draw for the turn. <clears throat> Look at the top card. That's a very good top card. You love to see it. I'm going to play this Wasteland Tapped. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and cast Merfolk Sovereign. Mm. And I'm going to pay the one to get a 1-1 one, one body here. Okay. So Merfolk Sovereign is other Merfolk you control, get plus 1, plus 1. Target Merfolk creature is unblockable this turn. And I've got the uh, triggered ability, or the cast trigger, rather. Yeah. So my board's a little bigger. And I think that makes it worth it for me to trundle in for three here. Yep. Uh, yep. Take three. Fifteen. One card in hand. Um, go ahead. Upkeep. You're fine. Auto take damage? Yeah. Yes! No. <laughs> this card's terrible. <laughs> uh, one, in, one out of three ain't bad. Uh, draw. Oh my. Uh, combat. That's fine. Eight. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah. Please take eight. Uh, I'm at six. Yeah. Uh, this one's... Pretty good. It's called White Plume Adventurer. Okay. Two and a white for a 3-3. Three, three. When it comes into play, I take the initiative. And at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, I untap a creature I control. And if I've completed a dungeon, I untap all of my creatures instead. So I get the initiative. You introduce the initiative. You uh, get to go find a basic land. Yeah. I get to go through the, the start of the Undercity to find a basic land, basic planes put into my hand, but then I'm going to play it for the turn. Yeah. Uh, and then I will pass and have an effect on your upkeep. All right. Well, untap, upkeep. Upkeep. I'm going to untap my Arcana Maria. All right. Uh, top card. Yep. Can't cast that. Am I dead? No. I'm not dead. So, first things first, I've got a very good draw here. You're fine. Uh, I got an Oko. Oh, that's pretty good. Oko is pretty good here. 
So Oko is going to give me the ability to deal with one of the two things that's going to kill me. That's also pretty good. And I don't know which is going to kill me faster. If it's the Archon, which mm -hmm. is a problem, or if it's your stupid 3-1 lifelink buffing your whole team. So if I hit your Archon, I'm dead in three turns. If if I, because this is, sorry, this means I have a 2-1 unblockable flyer that I can't deal with, right? Well, if you hit the adversary. Yeah. Um, I die in two turns. You die in one, yeah, you die in two turns from yeah. these two. If you hit this, you die next turn. Because the adversary is still buffing this. No, I don't die next turn. That's only four power. That's not six by itself. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. Never mind. I can do math. So I'm dead in two turns either way. So the question is, uh, actually, I have to hit this because I need to double spell. All right. So this is an elk. <laughs> Welcome to elk. I do have, and I should mention this. For the Undercity, mm -hmm. I'm in the secret entrance. I mm -hmm. do also have the option to go to the Forge, which has put two 1 1 counters on a thing. So you need to take the initiative from them. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's easy. Yeah. I can make any of my Merfolk unblockable. Yeah. Right? Like, that's that's not an issue. Uh, I would need. I've got enough bodies. All right. Uh, second spell I'm going to cast this turn because this is now an Elk. Do we have a, an Elk token? Do we have a way to mark that this is an Elk? You know, I haven't found a good way of marking something's an elk ever since this card came out. I can do this, or put a three. Yeah, we'll there. just put a three three over it. Well, let's use this die because that's plus one plus one counters. This is now a three three. Great. All right, uh, I have a green and a blue that's being tapped. I'm going to cast Merfolk Mistbinder. That's a little scary. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't have the mana to cast another to get another one one here. But I have two lords, so mm -hmm. three, 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 five, five, four, four. Mm -hmm. If I shove, what happens? Uh, well, I have a five, five, and a five, five. I have two five fives, and I have this five, three. Left. Yeah, but if you block <clears throat> with this, mm -hmm. everything trades, and I'm, a, I think I'm ahead on board. Mm -hmm. If you, what's the best possible block you can make here? So best possible block is if I attack with everything that's lethal, I'll, I'll organize by power and toughness here. If I attack with everything that's lethal, so you have to block. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not, there's like probably, so the safest attack is I make one of my merfolk unblockable, mm -hmm. which is probably just since a merfolk token. I hit you for three, I seize the initiative, I play a land, there's potentially even another merfolk on top. Yeah. And that's great. The other one I have is I shove with everything. If you block the 5-5 five, five here, then I'm dead on the crack back. I think I have to do the really conservative attack. I think I have to do the conservative attack. Like as, I mean, you're at a low life total, but you have an Oko. Yeah, yeah, I can, I have, yeah, the long game is on my side, yeah. so. All right, uh, this Merfolk token is unblockable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit you for three and seize the initiative. Uh, I go to nine. You seize the initiative so you can find yourself a uh, basic land. Yeah, I'm going to find a basic island. It goes into my hand. I haven't played a land for the turn, so I'm going to play that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have to shuffle and cut and check the top card of my library before I pass to you. One time, no one mana merfolk. Man, imagine I had a 1-1 one, one flyer or something like that. Ooh, ooh. Um, I don't know if that exists in Merfolk. There are not a, I mean, there's a one mana 1-2 one, uh, island walk that you can hit. That's pretty gross. Would you like to cut? No, you're fine. Heart of the cards. You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. It's the same card. Mm. <laughs> so, unlikely. Yeah. Um, go. Untap. Ought I take damage? Yep. The only thing damaged were my cards with that die roll. <laughs> uh, draw. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh, goes at five. Oh, goes at five. Combat. Hmm. Attack you and mm. 
was at five. <laughs> it trades with that and that goes off there. That's bad news. That's not great, but that's okay. Go on. I'm going to attack you with everyone except for my white plume adventurer I think no I'm going to alpha strike Ooh, that's what I'm doing let's go alright so I like the significance of here uh, Wheeler saying Oko's at 5 means next turn I can tap title warrior and then exchange it for the lord and then just kill him because I take out a blocker I take his lord pump and my whole team is big enough there so getting this off the board either way is very smart and kind of added a changes to both of us here. Mm -hmm. uh, attacking with everything also means I can't trade up because I could double block something there and trade a 1-1 one, one for a 5-5. Five, five. And this means you get to clear some of my lords. Yeah, yeah. I'm forcing you to clear not just your board, but my board. Yep. Yep. So I think my blocks are 3-3 three, three instead of the, in front of the 5-3. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put a... 4-4 four, four in front of the 3-3, three, three, but after this dies, that'll yeah. get smaller. I'm going to put my 3-3 three, three Lord in front of the Elk, and I'm going to try and protect my Emperor, so I don't have to block with the Emperor. Mm -hmm. And if I'm correct and there's no combat trick, things are good for Surge. Those are my blocks. I have no cards in hand. No, you're tapping. Nice. <laughs> Um, oh. Yeah, so these trade, and you take four. Everything should trade. Well, this, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's... I'll take four, yeah. and then what happens here is we deal three damage to this, mm -hmm. this dies. Yeah, yeah. This was a 5-5, five, five, but yeah. eventually turns into a 3-3 three, three with yes. four damage marked on it, so it dies. Mm -hmm. This is a 3-3 three, three that's going to put three damage on the 5-5, five, five. so all my creatures die, and then this dies, and then all your creatures die, and I go to two. And I gain five. Yeah. Fourteen. And I'm at two. And I get the initiative. And you get the initiative. What is? What would you like to do with it? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> I could either put two counters on my creature, or I could scry two. But I think I'm going to go with the two counters on my creature. Cards in hand? I got two. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to play them both uh, right now. Sorry, yeah, two on the creature, yeah, white. Uh, I'm going to cast Kithian, Hero of Akros. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to play my land for the turn, but it's a Castle Ardenvale. It's a good land for the turn. And I'll pass. All right, untap. <laughs> uh, wasteland the castle. I will respond. Yeah. I'm going to make a human. Yeah. How about this dice? So if you attack with three or more, then it transforms. Yeah. And three to make it... It and two other creatures. Uh, and I can pay two and a white to make it indestructible. Yeah. And then the flip side is... I mean... I didn't know what it, exactly what it did at the year end, and I don't know exactly what it does now. Um, the plus two, uh, there we go, Battle Forge. Plus two, up to one target creature to put a controls attacks if able, attacks Gideon if able, uh, next turn. I can plus one that says, until my next turn, target creature gains indestructible until end of turn, and I untap it, and I can pay zero, and it becomes a four four. Hmm. You know, classic Gideon stuff. Classic Gideon stuff. All right, uh, the first thing I need to do, I think I need to be pretty aggressive here. I'm going to make this merfolk unblockable, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hit you for two and seize the initiative. All right, I would like to scry two. Sure. So scry, oh, scry. So yeah, with my ability to play merfolk off the top, it's very good. Um, I'm going to do bottom top. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast a merfolk off the top. It's deep root elite. Yes. So two mana, one, one, whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a plus one, plus one. No, so sorry, this is on the stack. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look before I decide if I want to pay one or not. Sure. 
That's bad. I <laughs> use that. <laughs> if, if you're looking that hard. Not going to pay the one. Okay. All right, the next really difficult decision I have, I have this mock Sapphire. Mm -hmm. So my line of play here is either, mm -hmm. oh no, I have one line of play. I have to make it's, that an elk make or I it die. An elk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other option was um, I make this an elk and I have a blocker, mm -hmm. um, but uh, not dying seems really cool and I good. I think not dying is yeah, pretty I, strong. <laughs> not dying, very strong <laughs> yeah. in this meta, you know? Yeah. I'm going to say go. Now it's going to be odd this time. There's no way you only get hit one out of five. Not a chance. Odd I take damage. Yeah. He's a nine. Got a nine. Uh, drop. What a great game. What a great game this has been. So. You have no cards in hand? Jazz hands. Combat. Mm. So it's not a merfolk trickster. Oh, oh, because you said combat and I didn't immediately get you. So you're like, what other flash merfolk could it be? It's either the Lord or a Hull Breacher. And those are both really bad for me. All of this is really bad for me. Am I just dead on board? Wait, hold on. I might just be dead on board, Surge. Combat. Yeah. Uh, I will attack you for five. All right. I got the trick. It's a hull breacher. Three mana. I'm going to flash in a hull breacher. Yep. And it's a merfolk on the stack, so I'm going to pay the one to get a token as well. Sure. And then I've got two triggered abilities. Two merfolk have entered here. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is a 5-5. Five five. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on this, making it a 4-4. Four four. And I'll throw a 2-2 two two under the bus in front okay. of it. Okay. Um, I have a Mishra's Factory. Mm. I cannot reclaim the initiative. Oh, but you scryed two. I did scry. Okay. So, so I can you, goad or I can create a treasure token. You can't dome me for five. That's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will pass. All right, untap. Still not looking good. Upkeep. We venture further down the Undercity because I'm untapping with the initiative. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a treasure token. Amazing. I have a treasure token. Wait, why do you have a treasure token? That's what the... Oh, for the... the yeah, dungeon. it's better yeah. than goading, yeah. I think. At least gives me something there. We're going to look at the top card of the library. All right. So that's upkeep. That's it for upkeep effects. Draw for the turn. Look at the top card of the library. Fascinating. Just wondering if I win here. If I attack with everything, you have three blockers. So you would block the... 3-3, three, three, or pardon me, the 4-4, four, four, the 4-4 four, four, and the 4-4, four, four, and then you would take 4. If I make this into an elk, seven. you would take 7. Uh, you'd have no creatures, because uh, this has so many sickness, so it's just a 2-2, two, two, you can't pump it. I'd be able to protect this. You'd be able to protect this, and then maybe I'd die. That's not good. I could die to my own mana crypt. Yeah, you could, like, that'd be kind of funny to leave it on the flip, but then I'm dead, mm -hmm. and dying is kind of bad. Can I seriously not win right now? <laughs> uh... No, you can. I can, he says. This is yeah. not a merfolk. I think you're still fine. So I can make the biggest one unblockable. Mm -hmm. So if I make the biggest one unblockable, and I take this off the board, so that's guaranteed four damage. Then you block, you block, you block, and then you take two from this. That's actually worse damage if we use that tap ability. 
let me see. I don't know if you need to use the tap. So if you exchange control of your mocks with my Kithian, yeah, then you yeah, remove, blocking, remove a blocker there. Blocking yeah, the biggest thing. Well, I give you just one of these. I give you the treasure token, not the mocks. Sure. Um, yeah. So if we do that, then you get rid of that. You have two blockers. And then I'm taking four. Uh, no, you have two blockers. Block yeah. Two. So take I'm taking four, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I go to one. And then you have this to untap with. I have no blocker, and I'm dead on the crackback. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can win here. I think I just get some chip, jam chip damage in, and that's good enough. So the question is, I can make a food token just so I don't die out of nowhere. I don't think I die out of nowhere. So it's probably still better for me just to take your Kithian and give you a treasure, because you, you got plenty of mana. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Um, we're going to go to seven. I'm going to give you a treasure. I'd like to take your Kithian, please. Ooh. Actually, hold on. Right. This is in Greek. Mm, well, Russian. <laughs> or Russian or whatever. Great. So I have to attack with it and two other creatures. I can't just attack by three. Correct. For yeah. three by itself. All right. So I've got this out of the way. Actually, I still kind of like... There's no way you can double block and punish me for this. Wait, are you just dead? I've got two blockers. I leave the Merfolk token back, and I've got this too. So I think I do attack with everything here, and there's no way you can really punish me for it. No, you can trade with my Merfolk Sovereign, and that's bad. But can I afford to trade with your Merfolk Sovereign? Because oh, remember, I go to one. Right. Yeah, I'll attack you with these. And I'll leave two back, just in case. Well, I'm going to animate this Mistress Factory. Is that just wrong? No, because then... Why is this so hard? We should be able to count this. Uh, I'll just attack like this and it's fine. If you attack like this, this is one of the bigger ones, and then this is one of the other bigger ones. And I would take four, five, six. So that would be eight. Yeah, I think if you... This is fine. You're dead to your coin flip either way. That would take you to three. Mm -hmm. And I don't lose anything. Mm -hmm. I like that attack. Okay. Uh, so I go to... I take seven. Uh, you took six. Six. So I got yeah. three. Yeah, because this doesn't pump itself. This is just a two-two. Yeah. Two. All right, go ahead. Okay. Let's go mana crypt. <laughs> odd I take damage. Odd, odd we go to game three. Ooh. All right. Off the top. Uh, it's a shadow spear. Does that kill you? <laughs> six? No <way. laughs> Hold on. I'm going to cast shadow spear. Six, and I have three toughness? No! No! Equip. For six, trample. Lifelink. You. I totally forgot about this card. Oh. Oh, GG. GG! <laughs> well, you know what they say. What? I, <laughs> what do they say? I don't know, better lucky than fish? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, I, that was a really good game. Unbelievable series of games. Yeah. Like, you can't even be mad when something like that happens. That mm -hmm. is quite possibly one of the sickest top decks I have ever seen. I think we... I think that attack was correct. Yeah. I think that attack was correct. I... I leaving two blockers back so they're... to get around a removal spell, because if you hit any path swords or anything like that, having two blockers, I think, is correct. Yep. Um, I think stealing one of your creatures with a treasure is better, not pushing with everything is better. Right? Yeah. Getting you down to three within lethal. Like, you had to not die to your own mana crypt and rip exactly that card for the win. Well, I have another I have another initiative card, so I could theoretically dome you out for five. That's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. But... Um, wow. Wow. Uh, that was so fun, though. Yeah, that was... That was competitive all the oh way my god. through. Oh my god, yeah. was it ever so back and forth. Which I hope helps showcase. I mean, D&T, people know it exists. Everyone knows that's a top tier deck. Yeah, like, yeah. D&T has historically been a tier one list, right? Mm -hmm. But like, 
If this doesn't put fish on your radar... Oh my god, yeah. I mean, yeah. So the top card of my deck was a Vendelian clique. Oh, it's like the, yeah. The honorary fish that's not a fish. Yeah, there's there's only two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's that and Brazen Borrower are like mm -hmm. the non-fish in here. That was great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for these series. Holy moly. What thank a you, great search. couple of games there. And thank you, everybody, for watching and tuning in to North 100 Showdown. A friendly reminder, if you want the deck list or more information on the format, you can check out the description below. And, of course, we wouldn't be able to do this without the support that we receive from patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. It's because of all of you. There's all of this. <laughs> that fish. <laughs> all right. Bye. Catch you later. Have a good one.